M0FXB. So I have added firmware 20220219, but as far as I can see, nothing has changed because they did send me this link for it today. So watch the rest of the video, but I tested it at the end, and to me, nothing has changed. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So yeah, good news. Uh, I've been on to Radiology about firmware 1.14 about the CW and the BPSK not decoding, and they have replied to me, it's take taken a few days, but it says they apologize, and they found some bugs in the firmware, and they have sent me this new zip, and I'll provide the link for new version number seven, which is 2020220219 zip. So we've got the zip here, we're gonna extract it to a folder, and then we're gonna run it, so the next time that you will see me will be when I'm uh, installing the SD card on the actual radio. I'll just say that the actual documentation looks the same, so what we're going to do, once we load it, we'll test the CW decode. Right, here we are at the radio. We need to turn it off. We've got um, power supply, and you do need a power supply to do the firmware upgrade. So this one ends in the, um, the 019 number. So in we go. Just show you going in, like so. And then the thing we're going to be testing for is have they fixed the CW decode because it had literally stopped working and that normally works really well. Well, I don't know if it decodes well, but you have lots of information on screen. Okay, so SD card in, hold down power for at least four seconds, I would say. And then you'll see all the usual stuff on the screen. So I'm very pleased Radio Oddity uh, and Zygu, they are really trying to fix every bug. I still have complete faith in this radio, it still works as a good radio, but obviously we want it working 100%. So at the end of this, now I, I have noticed that when you do a firmware upgrade, sometimes it's a bit glitchy, you've got to reboot it a couple of times. And it doesn't work sometimes when you first turn the radio on perfectly. But that's fine. But at the end of this, right, it's ended now. We'll just wait a bit longer. Like so. See if I can get myself an antenna a minute. Right, we have an antenna connected. Uh, it's a bit of an exclusive, this, because uh, I don't think anyone else has actually got this firmware yet. So, everything's connected. Let's turn the uh, take out the SD card, very important. So we just zip that, just push it, keep that somewhere, get back in focus, and then we're going to give it some tests and see if it's made any difference. Hold down to turn on. Now remember, we have to do an install process again with the firmware, with the new firmware. I sort of hold it until the, the buttons light up. This is where it gets a bit nervy, these few, this minute or so while it's booting. Right, okay. And I, I tend to be happy when it comes on and you can, you know, see some activity. Like I said, it's a bit glitchy at first. So, now we're going to hit, uh, let me think now, system. We're going to go to firmware upgrade. And we're going to hit upgrade. Right. Sometimes this fails. If it does, just do it. Just reboot and do it again. Okay, that looks good. We'll come out of that. Let's just get this a bit dimmer. And let's give it a test. So the main thing we didn't have anymore was the CW decode. So we'll go down, we'll get it into CW mode. Let's turn it up. And go down to some CW. There you go, app, modem, CW, right, speed, 20, let's give it a minute and see if it does it.
speeds here. Let's find someone a bit busier. I'm not seeing anything obvious. Well, to me that's the same as it was before. Still not decoding. Try the preamp on. CW, CW, no, nothing. Nice bit of CW. Now, the only one that works is RTTY. You'll get something on RTTY. See that? It starts to try and decode. But as soon as you go to a CW, it does nothing. Well, that, to me, that hasn't worked, so it must be the same as what I had. I'll just quickly just go menu, um, and I'll just go like so, system, System info, and it's the same as it was before. Okay, seven three, all the